Hi everyone, welcome to the class. We were discussing the topic interpreting test scores and in the last class we discussed norm reference interpretation of the test scores. In this class we are going to learn criterion reference interpretation of uh, students test score. Very useful nowadays even in researches um, we are using criterion reference interpretation many times and at the school level uh, we are using criterion reference interpretation uh, so uh, now we start the class let's start with the example of blood pressure a person x got her blood pressure readings consistently 127.79 she is diagnosed by the doctors with the elevated level of blood pressures now here you can see uh, the range is given these are the ranges, these are the criteria uh, serve uh, to interpret the level of blood pressure. Uh, when it comes 120 and uh, 80 mmHg, it means the person has normal blood pressure. When uh, the blood pressure readings ranges uh, 120, 129 diastolic pressure and less than 80 mmHg uh, systolic pressure, uh, it will uh, interpret as elevated level of blood pressure and uh, these are the readings for uh, high level blood pressure stage 1 and you can see the readings uh, the range is given for high blood pressure stage 2 these ranges serve as the criteria you can see these are the ranges and these ranges serve as the criteria for the interpretation of blood pressure among the people these are some standards with which we compare uh, our blood pressure and get the interpretation uh, under which category it comes now we relate this example with the criterion reference interpretation of the student's test score here you can see the definition when individuals performance is compared with some predetermined absolute criterion the individual's performance, the student's performance is compared with some predetermined absolute standards with the predetermined criterion. We set the criterion and after setting the criterion, we compare the student's performance with that criterion. It will be, the measure will be defined as criterion reference interpretation. And the second point uh, says here, the judgment is concerned with the description of specific knowledge and skills with respect to the criterion the judgment is concerned with the description of specific knowledge and skills with respect to criterion and as uh, in norm reference test the judgment was concerned with the relative standing relative position of the students in some known group here we are not concerned with the relative position of the students in a group we are concerned with the absolute description of the specific knowledge and skills of the students the third point you can see judgment is concerned with mastery and non-mastery decisions mastery and non-mastery decisions either the student has mastered the material either the student has mastered the content or they have not this is mastery and non-mastery decisions if the student's scores are reach the criterion, suppose uh, first of all we establish the criterion and we compare the student's score with that criterion. Uh, if the student's score reach the criteria or reach above the criteria, it will be mastery. And if the student's performance, if the student's competencies could not achieve to the could not come uh, at the level of a particular criterion, could not reach at the level of uh, the criterion, that will be non-mastery. So judgment here is concerned with the non-mastery and mastery decisions. Degree of mastery is not an issue, just mastery or non-mastery. According to CBSC competency-based education, CBSC uh, in uh, it's competency-based education emphasized on the criterion reference testing of students at the school level. Features of criterion reference test. When the test 
is specifically designed for the criterion reference interpretation. It is criterion reference test. The purpose of a criterion reference test is to determine if the students has mastered the content area, mastered the domain of the test. Now here, an important term comes domain. The domain can be instructional content or instructional objectives or learning outcomes, learning skills we decide before based on which we construct the test. The condition here, second point in the domains, it must be well specified. It must be precisely defined. Now the question comes. Does criterion reference test only specify the domain or any other test or in fact all tests define the domains? The answer is that in fact all the tests, all the achievement tests specify, well specify the domain of content or the domain of instructional objective. But the difference here is that in criterion reference test, it is narrowly and precisely defined domain. The domain here in criterion reference test is narrowly and precisely defined. But in the norm reference test or in any other type of test, domain is more diverse. In criterion reference test, it is so narrowly defined so that it cover its content very thoroughly. And the second is uh, point is here that in criteria reference test when we specify the domain we write a larger number of items covering given content or instructional area. We write the larger number of items so that it appropriately covers the given content or given instructional area. <laughs> the third point is criterion reference test can include variety of items. If it is fixed item type criteria reference test, we can use multiple choice question. When we are using the criterion reference interpretation as uh, in the formative assessment, we can either take oral questions, short answer written questions, checklist or we can give students the hands-on task. Number four point says that we need to be very careful while defining the criteria. It happens when the majority, sometimes it happens uh, that majority of the students are not reaching up to the criteria. If the majority of the students are not reaching up to the criteria, that time either we need to look carefully and revise the criteria or we need to revise the test items. Sometimes the reason can be that learning outcomes are not well defined. In those conditions, we need to look back and improve. Either we uh, change the uh, criteria, either we uh, set or revise the criteria, set a new criteria, or we have to revise the learning outcomes, whether it is at the level of the students or we uh, need to uh, revise the test items. Any reason can be happen. Set a criteria. While preparing a criteria reference test, we also need to define the criteria or set the criteria. Criteria reference test involve a criteria. It can be a cut score. In the traditional uh, type of criterion reference test, we have cut score. It can be instructional objectives. The criteria which we set, it can be instructional 
objectives very well specified instructional objectives or the body of knowledge and skills but it should be well specified by comparing students test score to a criteria or to a cut score the student is either classified as being a master having mastered the content of the test or a non master so it is important to set a criteria and um, for uh, if we are setting a criteria we uh, need to uh, look certain points uh, that is number 1 we can say uh, for choosing the criteria if we are selecting the criteria then we must give the rational behind it why we are taking certain cut score why we are taking certain uh, ranges or uh, certain uh, guidelines for choosing the criteria so rational must be given and it must be set with the experts with the help of experts experts can be experienced teacher or the experienced researcher or the expert of that particular Uh, particular testing area so uh, it must be uh, very uh, carefully defined the criteria must be carefully defined the rational behind choosing the criteria must be given and it should be selected it should be chosen with the help of some experienced well known expert of that particular area uh one researcher in uh, in one research it is given that you consider the sample of students work first you collect the sample of the students work on that particular test uh, you can do a piloting of the test and uh, consider or collect a sample of the students and based on those those sample of the students you can set the criteria uses uses of the test it is very useful in diagnostic evol evaluation uh, when we need to diagnose certain learning difficulties uh, in uh, special education we can use it or to and the second one is formative assessment it can be used as formative assessment to monitor the students progress in school pro program or to report the students progress to parents to evaluate the effectiveness of interventions given interventions we give educational interventions sometimes we give some um, instructional interventions and to evaluate the program to evaluate the effectiveness of the program or to evaluate the effectiveness of the intervention we uh, use the criterion reference test criterion reference assessment that measure the attainment of learning outcomes are essential features of competency based curriculum ncert has recommended the competency based curriculum cbse recommended competency based curriculum in that particular curriculum criterion reference assessment is very useful and uh, it also encourages the use of authentic real word task based assessment uh, in formative assessment uh, when we do the uh, certain activities and we have to um, base uh, we have to um, uh, conduct the assessment based on certain activities we can plan certain rubrics certain guidelines as a set of criteria and based on that rubric based on that criteria we can evaluate the students performance these are the references interested readers are encouraged to read these references thank you so much in the next lecture we will learn uh, about the construction of criterion reference test what are the necessary steps which must involve we should involve in our construction of criterion reference test Thank you so much.